All right, we are going to be playing Batman for Famicom. I'm turning the system on now. I'm playing on a Famicom twin today. You'll see I'm starting it right now. Boop, and there we go. Here's our controller. The controller is tied into the back of the console, so this will be interesting. But I wanted to do this as legit as possible today. This is, I'm filming on a CRT television, and on a, uh, with the actual cartridge, the Famicom Batman cartridge, on a Famicom Twin. So, doesn't get any more legit than this today. So, um, you can even see, <laughs> there you go, I got the camera next to me here. All right, so, that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, what I know about this, I believe, is that the cutscenes I think are different in this version, so we're actually, I'm gonna try to not skip the cutscenes, because I wanna see, try to see what, uh, what the differences are. Now, I don't know if there's other differences between, uh, I think the cutscenes are longer or something like that. I don't know if there's other differences besides that. I don't think that there are, but uh, that's essentially the deal. So yeah, Famicom Batman. I'm gonna let it play for a minute so that we can get the whole intro and stuff in there. What's going on, Beard Baron? Hey, all day. How you guys doing? I tweeted it out, too. If you want to see the Famicom, I just tweeted it out. But, um... Because I can't lift it right now, because that would fuck it up. Yes, we are doing Batman Turbo Box. Hey, and Axe Box. We have Turbo Box and Axe Box. Hey, Power Chair Guy. Alright, so... Famicom... <clears throat> Batman. Let's start this. Hey, West by God Gaming. You want to get nuts? Come on. All right, here we go. This is uh, uh this is interesting because the controller is connected, so I got I got to get used to the to the wire being like connected to the back of this system like that. It's a little, it's a little different. Um, I'm gonna start it over, actually. I think I'm gonna have to sit up a little bit more for this, because it's uh, the, the wire is so short on this. Forgot it was gonna be like that. Is this your first time playing this on Famicom? Um, no, well, on stream, yes. Thank you, Jvolt, for the sub. We'll try it again. Is that is a CRT setup, Mike? Looking good. Yeah. So this is a CRT, just a basic uh, RCA uh, a CRT television. Nothing fancy or, ba or special about it. It's just a, it's just an old CRT. I got it for free. This is what I was talking about. And so I, I think I figured out the the problem I was having. See, I wasn't able to do this before for a couple reasons. Um, because um, the file size when I was trying to do this with the two cameras was like super huge. Um, so I found a way to bump the file size down. And that's what was holding me up from doing this. So I, I looked into that today and we figured that out. So I think, I think it'll be good. It's, it, we made it like a third of the size as it was, as it was. So, um, so this might be, you might be watching right here, literally my first, um, like legitimate, uh, CRT television stream. I, I tried it in the past, but, uh, see, well, I, I did it before with Ninja Gaiden, but the, the footage was really fucked up. And it, it looked like it looked like shit. It looked like it, it looked bad. I didn't have any of the settings on my camera, right? So that stream, I, I don't even count that stream because that stream was that was me tr trying to get it right. I think I finally got it right, though. I mean, I, you can always tweak things and make it better, but I think I think I finally got it right now. And also, and then the other stream I did was on a PVM, filming a PVM. So. 
And that, that was the one where I sort of dialed it in and I got the camera to look better, but it was still on the PVM because I wanted to do it on a CRT. So this is the first time I got the settings right, plus on a CRT and not the PVM. So this is the first time really I'm, I'm doing this. So I'm hoping that this goes, goes well. And on top of that, so, th so by the way, so there's no RGB going on here. This is being played uh, uh, the old school way of uh, AV. The AV is just plugged into the television and I'm filming the TV. Talk about going back to the past. This is the way we did it when we were kids. And, uh, and we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll see how it, how it goes and what I, uh, what I really end up thinking about it all. Is this guy gonna come down? Come on, fucker. Really? Come on, come on, you know you wanna come down here. Asshole. What is his deal? Why is he not coming down? All right, fuck you, I'll go the other side. I mean, that's what the problem was. Usually he just comes down. Huh. Pattern seems to be different. Strange. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna let the cutscenes play. I gotta remember to do that. We'll see how different they are. If, if at all. I don't know. So so far I haven't noticed anything different. I'll be honest with you. Thank you, uh, Jens Loon. I'll pause just for a second. Looks authentic as fuck. It can't get more authentic. Van Cleves says, I have seen Arcus clear this game so many times on Twitch, it makes you forget how hard the game is. I was in somebody's stream the other day, and they were streaming this game, and I think they hadn't played it a, a ton. But they said that they also watched Arcus, and they were like, oh man, it's amazing when you watch somebody who speedruns, and you, you watch it, and you're like, oh, well, you know, obviously they make it look easy, but, you know, it probably makes you feel like the game isn't quite as hard a a as it actually is, you know, if you actually play it yourself. There's a big difference between playing it yourself and watching, and watching somebody do it. So uh, this is this is a tough game, um, definitely. And the, and the last few stages, especially like the Joker and all that, it's 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 tough. Um, and the people who do that, uh, Arcus, but um, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that you know speedrun Batman or any anything. Um, you practice that much, and you get so good at it, and then you watch somebody, and it almost makes the game look easy, but it is uh, it's not. It is, uh, it's a tough game. And it's a fun game. And I wanted to pick this one um, to, uh, to do on the CRT, because I think this game, oh fuck, it just fucked up. Well, that's what happens when you play on original, <laughs> original thing. I might have to clean the cartridge or something. Fuck, all right, well. Guess I get to clean the cartridge. Uh, let me try that. I didn't expect that to happen. If I can't fix that, I mean, I'll, I'll clean it and I'll try it again. But if I can't fix it, we'll play a different game or something. God damn it. There's always something. All right, I'm gonna try to clean this here. Just a quick clean. It is this cartridge is super fucking dirty, actually. Wonder if I can get that on the camera to show you. Let's see if you can see that. It's kinda hard to say. You can sort of see the see how dirty that is? Very it was very dirty. Alright, let's try it again. All right, well, we're starting over here from the beginning. 
Um, all right. Starting over, this is Batman for Famicom. Game fucked up on me. Thank you, Chaos Phil 1978 for the subbing with Twitch Prime. And ACDC Rock 79 for subbing tier one. Thanks. So maybe it'll be refreshing for some of you to watch somebody stream this game who is not a speedrunner and is not very good at it. <laughs> I've beaten this game before. Uh, I have a lot of trouble with this game. Uh, the Joker, essentially, is is the, the hard part. I, I'm not really intimidated by anything in this game, really, other than the Joker at the very end. He is very hard. Um, so that part of it for sure is is tough um the rest of it i, I can i can get through uh sloppy but that the joker is the only part of the game where i feel like i'm not sure half the time if i, I if i can beat him or not that's that's the one part where i'm definitely not confident um at all that i can do it at all um so Another thing I want to talk about is the controller for Famicom. So, so the controllers on Fam on the Famicom Twin. Let me pause this for a second. Um, uh, look like look like this, and there is another one con connected to the system. There's two that are connected to the system. Let me just fuck fuck it up again by knocking that down. Fortunately, nothing happened there. Oh, the other one has a volume control on it. Um, but point is, um, it's connected to the system, and the wire's not very long, and it's connected to the back of the system. Um, but that's one thing. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk more about the feeling of the controller itself, because the D-pad and the buttons, as and even even the um, the feeling of the the rectangle of the controller itself in, like in in my hand it's actually feels a little bit more comfortable than than an NES controller um as, as far as just holding the controller it's not as um uh like you know how the, the corners are just like pointy on a regular NES controller this is more rounded let me actually show it again the the edges are more Rounded. If you look at that, it's actually a little bit more comfortable. I think the controller feels like it's a little smaller, though. Do I have a? I have a regular NES controller. Um, let's actually compare it and say. Actually, you know what? No, it's actually it's the same size. It is actually the same size as, as a regular NES controller. But you want to see something interesting? Um, if I can do this. So NES controller connected in the back, Famicom controller connected on the side, the, wi the, um, the wire. Interesting. Uh, the Famicom twin at least. I forget if the regular Famicom is on the side like that. It might be. Looks a tiny bit smaller. Maybe, just, maybe just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit, but it's basic. It's pretty much the same size. Um, and I think, I really actually think it's more comfortable. I mean, I'm only using it a little bit. I've used it here and there off uh, off stream, but I wanted to get it set up uh, so that I could, this is my first stream, I believe, using the Famicom Twin as well. So we got a lot of firsts here. Uh, it's my first time playing the Famicom version of Batman on stream. First time getting this regular CRT right. Why am I using, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be using that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more about the Famicom than the game right now. <sighs> but um, how, how does this look? Let me see how it looks. Looks pretty, looks pretty good. Pretty good. Now it doesn't look 100% exact, I, I will say that, to, to what I'm seeing, but it looks pretty damn close. And I tried hard to get it to, to look as close to uh, what I am seeing 
because that that was always one of my big things since I started streaming was I was very disappointed that you guys could not see see it how I see it and uh, um, especially with retro games uh, it's important um, I think to you know the, part of the part of the appeal of it is to make it basically like, what we're trying to do here at least what I'm trying to do is trying to relive those experiences bring you back to the 1980s or the or, or the 90s you know late 80s early 90s when we were playing these games and trying to give you guys as authentic an experience doing that as I can. That is what I would like to do. That's part That's part of what I'd like to do here. And it's also um, play, playing games I grew up with and playing great games that I'm familiar with, sure. And, and obviously I do a lot of that. I pl certainly play a lot of Castlevania, right? And DuckTales and all that. But Zelda too. But it's also about f fi finding and playing those games that uh, I didn't get the chance to play back then. So we're essentially, uh, we're continuing on from the late 90s. So I say you can consider these streams to take place in about 1996, <laughs> in, in my mind. <laughs> we're just continuing on from where we left off. Thank you uh, very much, Five uh, Eye, for subbing with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Have you played Chippendale's Rescue Rangers One and Two um, on stream? I know I've definitely done the first one. If I've done the second one, you know what? I think we did a video. I think I did it with Ryan of Chippendale Rescue Ranger 2 a couple years ago. I think we did a Mike and Ryan uh, like Let's Play when we were doing the, like the Let's Play videos and all that. So I think I, I think I did it, we did it like that. But as far as streaming it, I haven't, I don't think I've streamed it yet off the top of my head, but I could, I certainly could. I definitely go back to that and play that again. I, I would like to actually. So we, we could, uh, also, also DuckTales too, uh, which I, DuckTales too, I've definitely streamed and beaten, but I, I feel like I want to do a whole stream of that again at some point. So we'll, we'll, we'll come back to those games for sure uh, at some point here. Now, let me, now this part, and oh, actually, it, I think it is actually looking like, um, I wonder if I pause it. Oh, that would, that would actually pause it. So... When I streamed this game before, um, and I'd come to this point in the game, I would look at this electricity, and when you're capturing directly with, say, a frame meister, like if you're playing it on the AVS or something like that, or even if you know if if it's, if it's going through the frame meister and you're capturing it directly, which is how I've always played it before, I always felt when I looked at that footage. Especially with this um, sort of lightning or whatever electricity going around these beams, and then I would look over at Twitch, and I would look at it, and I'd be like, "That just does not have the same sort of glow that my television has." Like, when as I'm looking at this, it really like the electricity really sort of has this look to it on the CRT that like that you don't really get when you're direct capturing it and now now that I'm looking at it um, on Twitch because I'm, I'm looking over and seeing what you guys are seeing I think I think it's much closer to how I'm seeing it and it looks better which is good um, another thing I want to point out about this uh, I don't know I wonder if I can I, I wonder I don't want to fuck this up too much but if I could zoom in on it, I'm not going to zoom in on it, but maybe, maybe you can see what I'm talking about anyway. So another, another thing I want to point out is, you ever notice the details just on Batman himself? Like, the shadowing that they made on the sprite 
Like you, it, you can actually actually see his like chest muscles and shit. Um, and I don't know how well that shows up when you're doing a direct capture. Maybe maybe it's okay. I'd, I'd have to compare it side to side. But another detail I want to point out about Batman is look how fucking awesome his. Uh, like you, you just wait a while and you see his cape blowing in the breeze. Let's let's see it happen again, right there. That's a, that's a cool little detail. It sort of reminds me of in like the Ninja Turtle games. After you just like stop and wait for a little bit, they'll start like tapping their foot. It's it's sort of similar, I guess. It's just there it goes again. There goes the cape. All these like little details that are just so beautiful about this game. Um, I think this is one of the nicest looking NES games. Um, so yeah, they like it's just it's just really fucking good. You never notice Batman's chest muscles. CRT has a lot more contrast. Everything is dull on flat monitors. Yeah, Batman Batman looks more three dimensional on a CRT monitor. His muscles look like they're popping out more. Yeah. So anyway, just some things I, I wanted to point out. Now again, I I, I do want to say. What you guys are seeing doesn't look 100% like what I'm seeing, but it's about, uh, it's way closer than it usually is, like when I do the direct capture. Um, this is a lot, much, much closer to what I what I see here. Um, so it's, it's still not perfect, but at least it's a lot better. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know if we'll ever get it exactly, but this is about the best I can probably get. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, it's definitely not exact, but it's, it's, it's better than it was. Someday, someday, if I could ever get it 100%. And I think that's one of the things that people have really, really forgotten when it comes to g retro gaming. Um, it, maybe this is just my opinion, or it, I'm probably in the minority with it, but I, I think it's such an important thing um, to, pl to play your games on the right kind of monitor when you're playing retro games, because it just, it looks so different. And it looks, on, on a flat screen TV, it looks so much worse. So much worse. It really ruins the aesthetic of the game. I don't know, I'm, I won't, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna go as far as say ruins it, but it makes it a lot worse. Um, it's a lot worse. I mean, obviously, you can still play it and you know get get the idea. Obviously, it's it's not terrible to play it on a, on a flat screen, but it's you know it's just it's a lot different. And um, you know, all these companies are making these systems like the you know the PS One Classic and. Um, you know, the NES Classic and all that, but these are all HDMI, you know, systems. And it's like, you know, with the NES Classic, I don't think you can connect it to an old CRT, at, like, at all, which is kind of like, there's not, there's not even an option there to do that, so you're not even going to... There's no way that you can fucking see the game the way it's intended to be seen with an NES Classic or a Super Nintendo Classic. And it really, uh, it's just, I think, uh, it, you know, it's, it is cool that they released those things. Um, like all these classic consoles, like it's, it's definitely, you know, it's good that they do that, but I think it I think it needs to come in combination with like some way to view the games properly because as it is right now it's just cuz you cuz you're taking yourself back to an era when what we had was different 
you know, our televisions were different back then. And and that was it. Has anybody noticed anything different with the cutscenes so far? Like, they seem the same to me. And I'm playing on a real cartridge, on the real Famicom cartridge. Maybe, does anybody know what the differences are? With the, uh, with the cutscenes, actually? Somebody in here is gonna know. He stole my balloons. He stole my balloons! Mike, who's cooler, Batman or Donatello from TMNT? Um, well, Batman. Batman would, would be cooler, um, I, I, I would say. Donatello was a geek. Batman's not a, not a geek. Um, also, Batman's rich. Batman gets all the women. Donatello, you know, doesn't get shit. So... Mike, what is your go-to games for showing off a CRT? With mine is Super Metroid. Super Metroid would be a good one, Cereal Box. Um, really, uh, probably this game is why, why, why I picked it. Um, but another one besides this, um, you know what would be really nice to look at? Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, actually. Not that I fucking want to play any more Super Ghouls and Ghosts. But uh, you know what I should fucking hook up? I should hook up the Super Nintendo and we should look at uh, Super R-Type. Super R-Type on this would fucking probably look fucking awesome, actually, now that I think about that. Shit. Well, anyway, right now we're playing Batman. But, uh, those, those are ones that popped into my head. guys are gonna pop out there he is shit. Uh, this is hard without. Oh, uh, I still have all this, huh? Okay. Shit. I think I can just get him off the screen. That'd be great. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I wonder how the speedrunners handle this shit. And then, um, so I was mentioning the size of the controller, but the other thing I wanted to mention was also, uh, I didn't get into mentioning the, the D-pad and the buttons. The D-pad and the buttons also themselves look, um, they look different, but they, uh, they feel a little different. And they're actually really nice. They're actually very comfortable. I actually really like them. And let me tell you, I would tell you if I didn't like them. Because complaining is much more fun than telling you how much I like something. 
but they're actually very nice. Um, and it's an, it's just it's a it's a nice controller. But the only thing is, if if the contacts or whatever or anything ever got bad on it, the inputs, it's like, well, the controller's hardwired into the goddamn thing. So, oh fuck. Oh my god, I just made it. So basically, you'd be screwed with that. So, so as cool as it is, and as nice of a controller as it is, it's if it ever like kind of got shitty from from too much use or age, um, you'd kind of be screwed. Oh God, I have one more. All right. But anyway, point is, it's actually a nice controller. God damn it, with that. Oh. There. I think there's, oh yeah, there's another one. What? Good. Any more? Don't be any more. <sighs> Come on, what the fuck, I can't do this. There, let's use those, I guess. Need to not die. That's always a good idea. There. Oh my god, is he gonna come up here? Holy crap. Boom, boom, boom. Such nice wall jumping in this game. This game has the side-to-side -side wall jumping that you don't see in too many games. I got a question for my chat. Gaming question for you. So in, let's say, Mega Man X, you can wall jump, but you wall jump up the side of the wall, right? You can go straight up the wall. This game, you have to go side-to-side, side-to-side, side-to-side. Micro mages, you can go up one wall. Um, N plus plus, you can go up one wall. Name other games similar to Batman where you have to go side to side, where you can't just go up one wall. Can you guys name any where you have to jump side to side? See, some people are saying Ninja Gaiden, but the thing about Ninja Gaiden is you kind of can jump up one wall by by sort of jumping off the wall and jumping back. So it's, it's like possible. It's not really... It, I, I would kind of semi-argue that you can go up one wall in that. But, so sort of Ninja Gaiden. Anybody got a different game, though? Where you gotta go side to side? Super Metroid, you can single wall climb. Okay, so, so that's another, not really. Strider, somebody says Strider, Kid Chameleon. The new Ninja Gaiden games, you have the wall jump. Yeah, I don't think in the new Ninja Gaiden games you can, I think you have to go side to side in those. Some people are saying Power Rangers. Which, which Power Rangers? I don't remember, I don't remember all Power Rangers wall jumping. Thank you, Naruto, 1346, for the bits. Bubble bobble? I don't, I don't think bubble bobble. So anyway, point is, there wasn't too many, too many answers. Uh, so I guess there's not really not too many games out there like Batman. So that makes it like to this day, because we can name a lot of games where you can wall jump, you know, up the side of the wall, but can't name that many um, that are similar to this type of wall jumping.
So it's still, um, you know, it, it's still fairly, fairly unique in that way with the side to side wall jumping. Now N plus, which I was playing, has interesting wall jumping um, because some of the things I was doing in that, um, you can just jump up the side of the wall, like like um, just go like straight up the wall. But some of the jumps that you go to make, you have to like have momentum, like you have to be like running really fast to make some of the jumps, especially if there's like a spike or something in the way. So it's uh, that's actually a pretty cool way to do wall jumping the way they did it in N++. I actually I, I said I was playing that last night. I was saying uh, it's actually a really great game. I think um, at least from what I've played so far, I, I'm actually really enjoying it, and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be going back to it because I, I really like that game. And some people had said to me with that game that. The original, actually, I thought the original was N plus on the DS, but I think the original was a uh, a flash game just called N, believe it or not, which I'd like to try. So I think it was N flash game, N plus on DS, and then N plus plus is the is the newer incarnation of it, which is on some different systems and stuff. So, have any of you guys in here ever played the original N? I, I never played it. Somebody said that it was on uh, Newgrounds, which was a old, like, Flash website or something where you could, like, play games. I didn't really, uh, I think that was a popular site. I didn't really go on that site. Um, but yeah, it was like, I think I might have originated there. I could be wrong on that. But um, uh, thanks again, 1346, for subbing at Tier 1. I think N Plus was on Xbox Live Arcade. Okay. And no, I haven't. Yeah, it seems like... I don't know if anybody in here has actually played the original. Uh, anyway, I'd like to... I don't know if it's possible to still play the original version like that anymore. Thank God, I was almost dead. super long ago. There he is. He's on the TV. Laughing and joking as he does. <laughs> Whoa. Son of a bitch. Oh god. Oh god. Get away from me. Ah. Yeah, that's a better way. Use my batarangs on his ass. I think the boss on the end of the stage is the uh, that like block thing that moves around. The the board the the two board cube robot things, board cubes, cubes. Boom. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. See, if, what if I do this? Oh, I think it works. The 
We'll do that. Great assortment of weapons in this game that are actually useful. So many games give you weapons that you end up never using. This is like, you use all this shit. Batarangs all the time. The gun, definitely use it. This thing, definitely use it. Like, they're all fucking really good, useful items. They didn't, in they didn't include like some bullshit thing that you're not really gonna use too much. It's all really good stuff. Fuck. What am I doing? Ah. Thank you, Sinketsu86, for the sub. Thank you. 13 months. Oh, yeah, this fucking thing. God, I don't even know what I'm doing. I haven't played this in a while. Ooh, he can it's just like, I didn't know I could do that. part of the game very much. <laughs> like having a memory lapse here. Oh, I can, you can farm like all these things. What if I do this? Give me a heart. Heart, heart. Heart, heart. Heart, 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 heart. Fuck you. I never give him. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna get myself killed doing this. Oh my god, look at this. Look, uh, look at this. I lost all my life fucking doing this. They never give out fucking hearts in this goddamn game. I'm just gonna go. Should've done that earlier. Whatever. Whatever. Now I'm gonna die, because I had to be, I had to try to farm like an idiot. Stupid. Come on, come on. Robot. No, I'm just gonna go, because fuck that. Here's what we're gonna do this time. I'm just fucking getting out of here. Just fucking run. Don't bother doing any of that shit. Yeah, boom. By the way, speaking of Batman, I, I'm sure people pointed this out. I, I, I probably pointed this out before, but like, you notice anything right here? Notice how Batman has a fucking gun? Like, just straight up. Gun. I thought Batman wasn't supposed to like have a fucking gun. What the hell did I just do? What the hell was that? I don't remember, do I go down here? Oh, I guess I do. I don't even remember. And then, like this, I don't know. I could probably like, if I do like that or something, I don't know. Bastard. It's probably a way better way to do this. Oh, then we jump down here, then here, then here, then this and this and this and this and this and this and this.
All right. Oh yeah, this crap. Fuck you. Next. Next. And boom. Almost never give out hearts in this game. Almost never. There we go, got that. And up, next. You know what NES game would be beautiful to look at on a CRT monitor? Rocky and Bullwinkle probably look amazing. And Wacky Races. And, uh, shit. Oh God, oh God. What else? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the ugliest NES game I can think of. What is the ugliest NES game you guys can think of? Hide Lied? What's that? What's the ugliest NES game, graphics-wise? One that just looks like fucking shit. Color a dinosaur. <laughs> I should put color a dinosaur on. I have the Famicom twin hooked up right now, though. Oh God. Come on. Oh. oh, I guess that you're supposed to jump down on that part, huh? Remember, remember, like that or something. Should have been doing that. All right, that's that. Oh, and then you duck there. See, I forget. Oh, God damn it. I gotta do this whole level again. God damn you, game, video games. Damn you, games. Video games. It's a fun level. This, this, this. Do that. I'm getting through it a little quicker now. Ah. I swear though, I don't think I noticed any difference between this and the regular NES version of the game, like the Famicom one. Have you guys noticed any differences whatsoever? Like the cut, not like the cutscenes don't even look different. As far as I can fucking tell. If there is differences, they must be pretty fucking minor. This is a no NES run. Correct. Well, this is a no NES run because it's Famicom. It's kind of like if you play a a game, if you play like Halo, let's say, that would be a no Atari run. <laughs> it's like how stupid can we get in here? <laughs> how dumb can we make this? Shit! Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. guy shoot you in the fucking face asshole all right how about this how strong are you too strong why are you so strong nobody knows fucking asshole man 
that guy just reappeared. Did you see that? That was fucking weird. Weird shit, man. This is some weird shit. I don't know, man. Oh my god, what am I doing? I thought you could just like stand there and fucking go both sides. I don't get it. I'm doing wrong. Maybe I gotta be further back. Oh, there we go. Maybe that was the problem. Oh god. Oh my god. I don't remember how to do this anymore. I was pretty sure you just do this. Oh, God. I really thought I would always just stay there. All right, there's that. All right, now he goes to the bottom. He goes like back and forth and whatever. And if I can get over here, then I think I can basically just drop down and use these or some shit. I don't really know. Something like this. like a better weapon or something he is. All right. <sighs> Who stole my balloons? Tony from Hack the Movies. Mick Brundlefly is looking for Tony from Hack the Movies. Tony from Hack the Movies, he will be, um, he'll be here soon. We'll do a stream soon. He's, uh, he's in Adventure Island. Everybody's saying he looks like Master Higgins. In fact, also, by the way, speaking of Famicom, I do have the Famicom version of Adventure Island. And maybe we'll have to pop that in and see if there's any differences between that. Everybody talks about the differences of Batman. What about Adventure Island differences? I don't know. All right. Uh, is this the last level? Or is there another? I don't even remember. I think this is the last level, actually, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this is. <laughs> oh, crap. This did it, did it. Oh, that's right, up here. What am I doing? What did I just do? Oh my god. Okay, here we go, here we go. Give me a heart, bastards. Oh my god. There. No. 
Oh, got it. All right. Okay. Little shit, what are those things? It's like those little things walking around the Death Star. Somebody knows what I'm talking about, those little mouse droids. Whatever the hell they are that go around the Death Star. All right, uh, now this, this second to last guy, I think, I fucking, I don't remember. I think I used the Batarangs on him. And like jump over, like jump, he, like he jumps over and then I gotta like, Jump over, he throws like a ball at me or something. I don't really remember how to do this. I'm gonna be honest with you, something like that. And use the batarangs on him. Jesus Christ. Oh God. Oh my God, I don't even fucking know what's happening. And then that, fuck. How do you even start this? God damn it. What? Okay, like that, like that, like that. Something like this. That's right. I think also, like, when the Joker kills me, I think when I get back here again, I think this guy's gone. If I, if I remember correctly. I think. I think, I think, I think. There, okay, he's dead. And now, now this is where it's just a shit show. Greetings, bat brain. Shit. Do I have another? Ah, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, you bat fuck. Joker fucker. I thought I actually did all right, though. Wonder, I wonder how many hits he takes and how many I just got. I thought, uh, I did all right, actually. Uh, I think they're called mouse droids from Star Wars. Are they actually called mouse droids? Did I actually get the name right? Well, they move around like a mouse, I guess. That's funny if I actually got the name right. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense, I guess. Damn. He wasn't there last time. They fucking spawned him this time. Fucking shit. jumps oh god oh god what am i doing i'm gonna die now and i'm dead there you go i love the explosion that it makes when he when he dies it looks like a bat shaped explosion oh now they give me a heart just a just as a slap in the face what the hell talk about slow down hello
Or like Pumba? Wait, what about Pumba? What's up, Link2319? How's it going? <laughs> Thanks, ambitious sloth. Ooh, need me to put that one on. Bum, bum. Great! I fucking did that the first time. Now I can't do it. That just fucking completely screwed me. Give me a heart, fucker. I wish there was a hole to fall down right there. Reset it. I'll just do this. That's quick. That works, actually. That's pretty fast. Ever played Zero Tolerance on Genesis? No, I have not. Zero Tolerance on Genesis. I don't think. What kind of game is that? Oh my god, it's so much slow down there. I guess those are all the enemies that are up there, too. slick and jump over them. easier way to fucking kill this thing. Well, that wasn't too terrible. Could have been worse. All right. Oh, was that, did I get a heart there? Nice. Got it. So rare. Nice. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I slipped. Batman is not allowed to slip. There we go. Alright, that was better. Ah, fucking Joker. Let's go. Let's say it's him, right? Yeah. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> Damn it. 
looks like when he fucking fires it twice. Like, what are you supposed to fucking do? Like, I don't get what, what you can do there in the beginning. It's so crazy. Oh, and then he goes to the other side. So hard. See, I told you. The fucking Joker. Ugh. Takes three health bars if you get shot. I guess so. It's crazy. I did better the first time I got to him. Are batarangs safer or better than punching? I don't even know if you can use batarangs on them. I think it's just, from what I had figured out in the past, I think it's pretty much just punching. Pretty sure it's just punching, but you gotta like know where to stand and when to jump and shit when he does that, like, you know, shooting that fucking bullet. It's horrible. And you can kind of, you can step back when he does that lightning thing to avoid the lightning, but it's still difficult, like, timing. Oh my god. Hey. I made that. I fucking hate that thing. jump all right at the very least <laughs> all right i think i think we re refill your health on him though so i don't know what i did see man gun. Oh my god, my hands are sweating now. Wait, what's happening? Do you have to touch him? Now this is the Famicom version. Maybe the Famicom version is different. Maybe this is the difference. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the Joker. Let's see. You gotta, you gotta go up to the Joker. I think on the NES version it just ends.
I wonder if on the NES version you have to like walk up to him too like that. It was weird, wasn't it? Thank you, Shmeed55, for subbing tier one. Sorry, I'm just like, I was just checking out this ending here. Zero tolerance is a first person shooter. Okay. I, I don't remember it. Hey, Steel Sledge, what's going on? Presented by Sunsoft. All right, so that is the Famicom version. Now, um, I wanna show you guys, now that I don't have to worry about the thing fucking up because we're done with that. Um, here is the actual, um, I think the light's a little dark in here. Um, but here's the actual system. Here, I'm going to turn this off. Well, here's the game. One thing. So let's try the game. Okay. And then, if I can move the system enough, I wanted to show you guys the system I was playing on. So here is the system that we were just playing on. And you see, like, the big pastel kind of colors. And... Um, you can also do Famicom Disk System games as well by putting them in there. Um, but this is the power button, and then I, I, if I remember, this is the power button for the disk system or something, I forget. And the cartridges go on the top here, like that. So, and it says Famicom right there on it. The lighting is really bad in here right now. The lighting is the, this way because of me having to film the television like this. But anyway, okay, that is that. So that's the Famicom version. I tell you what, uh, let's put in, let's see if there is any differences with the Adventure Island, if it'll even work. I might have to clean it. Okay, let's try. I have Rekka Summer Carnival. Let me get this Batman off the screen here. Adventure Island, I might have to like clean it. Actually, well, I can clean it. Let's see if this works though. All right, this is Rekka Summer Carnival. Hopefully this just comes on. Hey. All right, so this is a shmup, a shooter. We're gonna give this a go here. I better change the title of this. All right, uh, if you are just joining, um, I am playing Rekka now. We just did Batman, and this is Rekka Summer Carnival, 92. Um, all right, let's just get it started and see how I can, I can do. Now, I haven't played this in a long time, so this is going to be terrible. Did I already just use the bomb? Let's see. I don't even know the buttons on this. I don't know what's going on. Wait, let's see. Now, you hold it down and then... And then release, I guess, if you don't fire for a while. that That's what was going on. Okay, and I'm dead. <laughs> I don't even remember how to fucking play this game. Oh yeah, you can get shots off the back and shit. Wow. Okay, I have to remember how to even fucking play this game. stuff fucking even does either. 
Okay, so you kill the whole line of them, and then, okay, here's here's this boss. Oh, yeah, I, I fucked with this before. So you're killing the little center eye there. And he's gonna do something like that. Go back. Oh, oh, fuck. I didn't know he was gonna do that. Okay. What am I supposed to do about that? Come on. Yeah, like this part. I guess I'll just stay over here and then maybe that's what they wanted to do, just stay in the corner. Bitch. Oh fuck. Really? Terrible. Alright, I'm gonna try this again. But -da 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 -da. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill his ass. See, I don't even remember what all the uh So it sets you, that's why I thought a bomb went off. Well, like, technically, I guess it did. So you let it go, and then, bam, you can release it, and that, your bombs sort of, like, charge up. That's how that works, which is pretty cool. And there's the laser. F, H. Let's get H. What's H? Okay, H is, like, heat seeker. Okay. Okay, you get the little red things, and then that's, like, your extra shot off the side. Okay. B is, like... B, C, R, I don't know. Oh, R for rotation, there you go. V, L, B. No, just fucking, I'm grabbing everything I can. I have no idea. S, tell me S is for spread. <laughs> Whatever I have right here though isn't bad. I wanna get S. Oh no, I don't want that. I don't like that. My God. I don't, even, I don't know what I'm doing. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna stay in the corner here. Is that your secret? Yeah, bitch, you're gone. That's right, get the fuck out of here. Level one. Oh, look at this level. How, how you guys like this background? I want to see how this looks. Oh, it definitely, it looks, it should look a little more pink than this. It's come up a little, pur little purpley on, on that screen. Oh, I'll, I say it's not going to be fucking per perfect. Whatever. I wonder why. It's very hard to get to get it to look exactly like like it should. Ooh, one up. Yeah, so that background is a little more pink magenta looking to me. So I kind of like this. I'd like to keep that on. Let me try. I'll grab. Let's see. Let's see. See. Oh, see he. This is absolutely bonkers right now. Good weapons, though. I dig, I dig the weapons. If I release... Okay, so... A button is shooting off the side. Oh shit, hang on. Fuck. Great. Oh my god. It's probably a game you want to play with a joystick or something. Oh, dead? Dead? Yeah, you're fucking dead. This is fun. Oh my god. And just so you know, I do, I do have my PVM actually sitting right next to this television, so, you know, I, I'll probably alternate sometimes between doing direct capture and CRT, basically. But I just like that I have the option now to do CRT sometimes. Fucking fuck. 
this is fucking hard. And that's that. That's probably it, right? That's just straight up like it. No continues, no nothing, right? Yeah, Rekka, Rekka's no fucking joke, man. All right, well, that that is Rekka. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break for a few minutes, and then I'm going to pop in some more Famicom games, and we'll keep going with this Famicom uh, stream. Slight uh, Ambitious says, Slight color distortion is a small price. You're the only streamer who puts in all that effort to do the original hardware, I'm sure, is a bitch. Well, it, it is a bitch. And I, you know what, though? I have seen other streamers do this like try to use crts and stuff like that so I, i'm not the only pr person who's done that so but um but not many but not many do i don't think anyway all right i'm gonna take a break for a few minutes make myself a cup of coffee and i will be back stick around thanks for watching i'll be right back
Let's see if everybody left. Did everybody leave? No, there's still people here. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm back, and we are playing some Famicom stuff. I'm gonna clean, take a break for a minute. We played through some Batman, and Batman for Famicom. And I have to tell you, I don't know if I missed the comments. Damn it. I don't know if I missed the comments, but uh, I didn't notice any differences between Famicom Batman and um, and regular Batman on NES. So if anybody knows, please tell me. Because I, I, I think, I thought the only thing was that the cutscenes were different, but I didn't notice anything. So if, if the cutscenes are different, they must not be much different. So, I don't know. Hey, thank you, Speedpunk1996, for subbing Tier 1 for nine months, and Neat Dreams for subbing at Tier 1. Thank you, on Two Month Street. Batman is exactly the same on Famicom, says Mad Stalker. Oh, then why did I think that there was... I, I swear to God, I thought there was diff some different cutscenes or something like that. Huh. Well, I guess I heard wrong. I thought that there were some differences. That's why I did it. Hey! This is the Famicom version of Adventure Island now. You have a legit copy of Rekka? Um, actually, I'm borrowing it from James. It is James' copy. Um, I have a lot of Famicom stuff, though. Um... Actually, if you watched the Ninja Gaiden episode of James and Mike Monday recently, I mentioned it. That's when I borrowed it from him when I was over there when we were filming that. Anyway, I may, I don't know. I'll play more of that later. That's a game that's going to require time and practice. I wasn't planning on doing a whole wreck of stream today. Um, let's check out this since I'm a little more familiar right now with Adventure Island. How does this look? It's not too bad. The colors actually look pretty accurate. It's weird. It's weird how like like Rekka, the colors didn't look too accurate, but this looks pretty fucking close right now. Hmm. Well, good. Adventure Island looks good. Let me see if I can pop the cover in. Let's see. Let's see what the Adventure Island. See if I can find that. <laughs> Sometimes I swear you, finding good images of some of these games sometimes is not super easy. I mean, I found it, but it's kind of a shitty, like, image. I'll just use this for now. Somebody really needs to do a... a database of like every cover from every game with high quality scans well, let's see if I can pop this in here um, Venture Island Famicom this is what I found there it is I actually don't own the box. I just have the uh, the cartridge for this. Uh, drawing streams. Um, at some point, I'll do more auto motos. Auto motos. All right. So let's play this. This is the Famicom version of Adventure Island. Let's play this for a bit and see. See if there's any differences here. 
I can actually, um, I should get my Famicom Disk System games out since I got this thing hooked up. Because this can also play Disk System games. I have to do that. Pretty much the same. But. The title screen was different. Let's see if the Hudson Bay, the, the Hudson Bay thing's probably all the same. I'm sure it's pretty much just the same thing. That's right here. No, it's not right there. Should be right here. Boop, and boop. There it is, there it is. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> hey, ZZ Ricky, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Brutal Clean. Only title screen is a different game is the same, yeah. Anyway, so there's not many much di much differences there. Um, I'm just glad the game works, really. Okay, so uh, tell you what, I'm I'm gonna just get my disc system games, and let's pop some disc system games in and see. One second. I can find where they even are. Da, 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 da. Okay, Famicom disk system. Um, let's pop in. Well, you, you want to see something? Let's do, let's pop this in for one thing. How about this? We got Who Frame Roger Rabbit. Get this full screen. Who framed Roger Rabbit for Famicom Disk System? We're gonna pop that in. I'll show you the back of this too. Right. Let's put that in. And see if it's will even if it'll even work. Some of these don't work that great, so we'll see what happens. Right. Wait, don't I have to like do that or something? There we go. Oh wait, it's not here. Get that off the screen. Hey. You may recognize that. That's right. In Japan, the license was Roger Rabbit, and when they brought it over to the States, it was Bugs Bunny. Doc. Now let's see if I flip it over. Flipping it over. Now it's loading it. And there you go. Now that's different. So instead of, you know, the hearts look like the hearts from fucking Zelda, by the way. There's your Zelda reference. 
But instead of like Daffy Duck, it's like, the weasels. From one bunny to another. Is this like the US version? Um, other than like the sprite swap, um, I would imagine it's probably the same. Like as far as the levels, I think the levels are just, and everything are the same. Doesn't it make much more sense that like the boxing glove, isn't the boxing glove in Roger Rabbit? It makes sense that they would have made you know, they would have made a Bugs Bunny, I guess. It's like similar. I'm sure there's a Bugs Bunny cartoon where he's got a fucking boxing glove or drops a pail on somebody's head or something. There's one more that I forgot. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. bitch so yeah essentially it's you know that, that's the deal I'm not gonna go through the whole game but that is the Famicom disk system version of Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle but Bugs Bunny's uh, or Roger Rabbit's Roger Rabbit's Crazy Castle I wonder if it was just called Roger Rabbit or Roger Rabbit's Crazy Castle I don't know anyway there it is all right so I'm gonna put on another disk system game now um, we got, I got one for you. This out here. I should probably do a whole stream of this, but if I can get this out of the fucking box, it's very difficult. Okay, there, I got it. All right, this is gonna be uh, Zelda 2. The Adventure of Link. I want to show this to you guys first, though. So this is the, this is the manual for it, and um, it's cool because it has all this art that you probably wouldn't normally see. I'm actually going to go through and show you guys this. Um, well, if there's anything interesting, at least I like this. Like you don't see like some of these drawings like like that, you know, very often. I like the you know those old school style, original um, Zelda things. Here, like here, here you go. Like this. How often do you ever see this? This is like a some old school Zelda two art right there, man. And I don't think they used that in. I don't think they used all that art. In the American version, some some of it, but not all of it. I don't think. Yes. Actually, you know what? I own um, the instruction manual for Zelda Two, the the NES version. I should we should break it out and compare. <laughs> See some some of the enemies. Pretty cool. I, I, I am gonna go through all of this because I'm probably not gonna show this again. So I'm gonna show you guys. Look how look how buff Link is. Link is a buff motherfucker. It's pretty cool. I wonder who did this artwork. I like this little drawing of him down here. Wonder if the original artwork for any of this exists anymore. Now here's the art that we like the, the more famous Zelda art. Like this art is also in here, but that's the art that I that I recognize more from Zelda too. You know, like like this stuff. Which this is gonna be a different artist who did that compared to those other more cartoony artists. See, like like this, I don't remember seeing this before. 
right? Look at this like drawing of the sword from like the title screen. That's pretty cool. Like I wonder if that art still exists, the original. Anyway, okay, so that is the instruction booklet. And let's see if I can get the um, get the actual game to work here. Here's the actual game, this is Zelda 2. Let's see if it works. Some of these don't work, so we're gonna get lucky here. Hopefully we'll get lucky. Oh, there we go. They're finicky sometimes, so. Might not work. Motherfucker. See, I've, I've got this to work before, though. I had a feeling this one might not work. Sometimes this one works, and sometimes it doesn't work. I'm gonna try it again. It's like really finicky. Let's try it again. Donald's Happy Birthday is the name of that cartoon, 420 SS. All right, this one looks like it might not work. What if I put it, let me just see if I put it in side B first, if anything will happen. Let's just say, probably won't, but just for the hell of it. Looks like that one's not working. I ha I have got that to work before though, so I don't know. I also have an original Famicom um, disc system. This is the Famicom Twin, so maybe it was on that I got it to work. I don't know, but I definitely have gotten it to work before. So I don't know what exactly is the problem with that. So I'm going to we're gonna try another game now. Hopefully it'll. Let's see what else we can do. Let's try, oh God. how about, uh, how about, how, I have Kid Icarus, new Kid Icarus. Let me just pop this in first. Let's, let's see if the game will work first. You want to work. Come on. You want to work. Hey, this one might work. Maybe. Maybe. Ah. Ah. Thank you, Rob D four seven one zero, for continuing your gift sub from Clogdar. Thank you, Rob D. All right, um, now I'm not gonna be able to read any of this, of course, but can we get the actual game to go? See if James were here, he might be able to actually read that. Does that mean flip it to side B? It starts with the letter B, so I'm assuming to flip it. I think I should flip it. I think I'm gonna flip it. Let's see. Come on, you wanna work. Aha! Sweet! Now, Kid Icarus was a pretty tough game. Um, remember, I, I've, I've got, uh, I'm playing it on my own to, there's a level, level that has a bunch of those like eggplant wizards and like ladders and shit. That's where, about where I've gotten to before. I think I, I got lost and I got like kind of fed up, so I stopped. But I never, uh, I, never I actually never have streamed this game before. But um, I have to like, really learn 
what to do. These are classic enemies right here. Nobody really talks about Kid Icarus anymore. It was, uh, it's funny because Kid Icarus was one of the big heavy hitters in the early days of NES. How do you like that? <laughs> and there there you have the family on this system, I guess. Oh god. See, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I haven't played this in a very long time, so I, I really don't remember anything, anything about this very much. Is that, is that the Grim Reaper's babies there? Oh, Jesus. What do you even do about him? I don't even remember. Just jump over it like that or something? Oh, I guess when he turns around. I guess. That's what you do. That's what you do when he's turned around. I see. level was a lot longer than that. Oh, maybe that's why I thought that. Aha. Because it keeps going with this. Which all looks similar and you keep going up. I, you know what? Isn't there, is there four of these? I think there's, there might be four of these screens before the game kind of changes. Long time since I've done this. Very long time. Oh. What's going here? Ooh, 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 mouse head rats. Oh no, they're not mouse, they're eyes and noses. I thought they were ears. I thought they were little mice flying around. I don't know what is going, this is a weird game. I don't know what is going on with this. Like what is the fucking deal here? C Cupid fighting. <laughs> what's basically Cupid. I guess that would be like Chubby Cherub or some shit. I don't know what the point of that was. Fuck. I don't know. I don't have enough to get anything. Oh yeah, and then you get this stuff and you can, you can like fly with that, right? I don't remember what the barrel or the wine does. I guess it's life, but I think you could fly with that and you use it somewhere. Uh, it's been too long. Oh, oh my God, I'm still, how the fuck am I alive? I was walking on something that was off screen. No. I don't remember it sounding like that on the NES. I wonder if it does. Now I'm, now I'm actually really curious. I don't think it sounds like that on NES. God damn it. Well, it didn't save me that. What the fuck is up with this music? This is the craziest sounding shit. <laughs> Thank you, Shawnee Mac Attack, for subbing with Twitch Prime for 17 months. Thank you, man. 17 months of this crazy craziness. 
crazy shit, whatever it is that, I, that I'm doing here on Twitch, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is up with this game. This is the weirdest fucking game, I swear to God. It's always been weird, too. Like, they were like... I don't know, what were they fucking smoking? When I came up with this fucking shit? Oh yeah, that's this again. And I mean, I guess if you think about it, like, Mario Brothers is weird. Really. Zelda's weird. It's all kind of, like kind of weird, but this this one is especially weird though. It almost sounds like the game's broken with these sound effects. <laughs> yes, you can kill them. You can kill them. Kind of reminds you of Ice Climber. Oh, that's right. You can shoot up. I forgot you can shoot up on this. Okay. Well, isn't that helpful? Not necessarily can you shoot up. I mean, I guess you gotta do this shit because of trying to collect for getting money or whatever. I wonder if I, can, if I can just leave. Do I have to like sit here and do this? Oh, you don't actually have to sit there and do it if you go in. That's good, they let you skip it. It's just that later into it, I know that I end up not knowing what to do and I just get like lost. So. I just want to see if I can make it to the top of this one, I think. saying you can kill them so I'm, what if I just fucking I'm gonna keep hitting them oh you can see look, look at that that's it's sure you can kill them I don't know why I thought so you can kill death maybe that's why I, I didn't think you could fucking what am I doing okay whatever I've had enough all right that's get it Chris that's whatever um I'll probably play that more someday but uh, it is a weird fucking game. 
but god damn it. Oh, these fucking disc system games, I swear to god, are not, they're kind of just like a pain in the ass to store. Because like if you don't have every little fucking piece of it, because they come in this outside sleeve like this, and then like if you don't have the outside sleeve, see now I have, I have this, and then I have this. The booklet, so now it's like, but you need to have that plastic sleeve that goes around it, or else it's like, whatever. Um, I have Twin B, and uh, the original Zelda. I'm, I'm annoyed that Zelda 2 wasn't working. I'm, I'll try it another time if I can get it working on my regular Famicom disk system. Let's see. I don't even know if there was differences with the original Zelda. Um, I can't remember. I mean, I know, well, I mean, I know that the Poles voice thing is different, where you can blow on the Poles voice, but let's uh, pop in, we'll, we'll see if original Zelda will work. I don't know if it will or not. This is original Zelda. Let's see if it'll, this is the, Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, you know what? Some of the music and shit's different, too. Actually, I'll let this play. I'm just gonna actually just let that play. Just listen to the music. So you can tell it's more like chimey. There's like chimes and shit. All right, well, will it let me start the game? I'm trying to start the game. Do I have to flip it to start it? Fuck. to flip it over it's not starting this system is so weird god knows what that even means Famicom disk system actually had two sound channels, and that's why it's different. Oh, there. See, there it says B. Maybe not. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to flip it. Let's see. Or maybe it just doesn't work. It's like I said. It's so fucking finicky. Sometimes you get it to work. Sometimes you don't. You got Kid Icarus to work. It's probably not gonna work. Yeah, I don't know, that's an error. See, that's that's why I don't do these fucking disc system streams, because it's always fucking, it's, it's so, like, finicky. Um, so, I don't know. If I get it to work, um, 
if I get it to work on my regular Famicom disk system, I will, uh, I'll try it sometime. So, all right, so some of those aren't working. So I'm gonna go back to regular Famicom carts uh, then, because they seem to be more reliable. Um, I also have uh, Ghosts and Goblins. So here's Ghosts and Goblins. Let me get this full screen. Let's pop this in. Let's see if I can get this to work. Hopefully I can. There's so many things out right now. All right, here's the cartridge. For, here's the cartridge for that. Pretty cool. Well, that's. Get this back on. And this, see the cartridges work much better. All right, this is the Famicom version now of Ghosts and Goblins. Now, um, Era 27 block and mark scene, but ends prematurely. Be warned, this game is a jerk. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Ghosts and Goblins is a jerk? I wouldn't have thought. So, Famicom Ghosts and Goblins is supposedly harder than regular Ghosts and Goblins. So, I probably shouldn't do this entire thing right now, but, um... Let's just, we'll see how far I go. Let's just see if I can notice any differences. But this is this is something that I'd like to play through and try to beat, because this is supposed to be harder than the original. And I don't know why exactly though, because the original, if you keep playing it, it goes loop after loop after loop and can just get faster and faster and faster. So maybe maybe the initial loop is is faster. I'm not sure. But regardless, this one's supposed to be harder. So well, I'll see if I can notice any, any differences. And you guys know I beat this game with the torch only. I've done that already. Again, I do have to say the controller for this Famicom Twin, it is really nice. I, I do like it a lot. Seems like maybe they move faster. I think they move faster. Ooh. Beat it with the power pod. Is he playing on a CRT? It looks like the screen is curved. Yes, I am. Hi. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what? The uh, fuck, fuck you. Is that what's harder about it? The, the, the platforms are I invisible? Or you go through the platforms? Only downfall of the Famicom Twin, the controllers are hardwired. Yeah, I was talking about that in the beginning of the stream. So the controllers are hardwired into the back, which does uh, suck. And I was saying, if the inputs ever got bad on these controllers, unfortunately, this controller is actually really pretty damn good. Hey, the knife! Look, I got the knife. Oh my god. References. Um... The, the knife is actually very good, though. Um, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm having trouble, so... Maybe it is harder. So does anybody know what was supposed to be harder about it? Um, Retro Gaming Night says it's harder because it's more broken than the NAS version. 
Oh, well, you know what's more broken than the NES version? The arcade version. The arcade version's really fucking broken. <laughs> and I beat that. There's a DB15 port on the side of the Twin Famicom, and there's controllers for this port. On the side of it. Oh, I do see some different things on the side. Oh. What kind of controller can you put into the side of that? That's cool. I didn't know that was on there. Actually, it looks like there's one thing that says A and another thing that says B. But... It's got a piece of plastic on it. Maybe after I'm doing this game, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show that. The side of this, you know what? I'll just fucking do it now, who cares? Um, I'm gonna show this to you guys. Actually, this is more interesting than, than this game is. So, um, the side of the system, I knock everything over here. The side of the system has these on them. Now this, I'm, I'm like learning about this right now. So this has a little sliding door, right? And I guess you can put a different type of controller into that? I don't know. And then this over here, I have no idea. There's a piece of plastic that goes over it. So I don't know. Anybody know what those are all about? Oh, it's uh, Fabulous Wig says it's the Sega CD add-on. It's a tiny ashtray. Mike, explore those holes. God damn it. It might be for a RAM pack. It might be. Does anybody know for sure? Shove a Genesis controller in there. It's for the 32X. Huh. So it seems like people aren't sure. Isn't there an audio expansion thingy? Um. Uh -uh. Light gun? Mm -hmm. Well, the... I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna sit here and make guesses. No, the no, the audio expansion is built in. Says Big Boyder. Okay. You can connect the gun, the family trainer, and the 3D glasses. Basically, all accessories to the connector with the pla with the plastic cover. What about the other one? Is the other one just to put a regular controller in? Because I have, well, I have the. Uh, what do you say? The gun, the family trainer, and the 3D glasses. I have the family trainer. Hold up. I can find it. What the fuck is that? Hang on a second. Let's see if I can actually do this. Okay, so here's the family trainer, which is the power pad. If you guys haven't seen Aaron's power pad video, go check that out. She talks about this and plays all the games and shit. But let's see if this actually connects or not. You know what? Look at that port. That actually looks like or that, the end of the plug. That actually looks like it will go in there. Or, n wait a second, no. That does not fit in there. No, it that would fit into A. I should not be, like, fucking trying to figure this out on stream. But you know what? There's a piece of fucking plastic over that, and I don't know how you get that plastic out. I don't want to fucking break this thing right now. So the... the I think that might go into the one that says A. Actually, yeah, it would go into the A slot. The B slot, I don't know. Anyway, this is all, I've never fucked with any of this before, so I think this, I think the family trainer thing goes into the A. The B, I don't know. So, but also, and then a little piece of plastic, I don't wanna fucking break it or something. So, I'm not gonna do that right now. But, um, it, se it seems like it would fit into the A slot on that, so we kind of figured something out. 
you pull the plastic out and connect it to A. Yeah, but the way it's on there, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with that later. I don't want to break anything. There are controller for port with the plastic cover from third parties like Hudson. Okay. Okay, so it seems like if I were to pull that little piece of plastic off, there... Oh, wait, no, no, wait. I just got it off. I got it off, actually. I pulled it off from the side. Hang on a second. See, I didn't want to break that. But then I just accidentally kind of took it off. So, never mind. Actually, I'm going to be able to do this. There you go. Okay, I was trying to be careful because I didn't want to break anything. But there you go, actually. So I did plug it in. So the family trainer plugs into the A. Okay. And then I guess there are third-party controllers that can go into that as well. And Which is, that is actually fantastic because if I can put third-party controllers into that, that means that this system isn't as um, time sensitive as, as I, I was worried about with you know with controllers breaking down because then I could put controllers into that port so that is actually awesome and I didn't realize that so that's pretty cool give it a try well I can't give it a try because I don't think I have a Aaron, Aaron might actually have she has a Famicom controller that I don't have. Um, like a, the joystick thing. Um, cause I don't know if I have another Famicom. Hang on a second. I don't think I... Wait, uh, well this is NES, isn't it? No, that's NES. Oh wait, what the fuck is this? Oh wait, I have, is this NES? This is probably NES too. Oh, this is also NES. Look at this fucking thing. I, I don't even know. I don't know what I have. <laughs> I don't know what I have. Um, I'm gonna get back to playing a game, is what I'm gonna do, because I'm all over the place here, and now I have shit just everywhere. Um, we're playing uh, Ghosts and Goblins for Famicom, and I'm gonna start this over. Um, I guess I don't need to start it over. We're gonna start from here. Oh my god. I'm just gonna get back to actually just fucking playing the game here. So let's see if I can get through level one of this fucking thing. So yeah, so now that I'm sitting here playing on a regular CRT again and not a PVM, um, it is true, you know, the. You know, I've, I've been talking about this, how the pixels kind of blend together more, where on a PVM, the pixels um, are, like, really, they're pixel perfect. Uh, I, I think that this is more the way it's meant to be, in my opinion, than on the, than on the PVM. Um, but I guess it, that can depend on how you want to how you want to look at it. Um, like a consumer would have ha would have had a TV like this, right? But the game designers, from what I've heard, please, by the way, correct me on any of this if I'm wrong. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Um, I think a lot of the designers would use TVs that were more like PVMs or BVMs when they were making the games. Um, and I think I've seen pictures of that too, where they, they use monitors like that. Um, but the consumers would have, would have had a t television like this. So it, it kind of also can come down to the argument of, do you want to play the game like the, like how the developers were working on it? Or do you want to play it like how a consumer would have it? And, you know, for me, it's like it's like the way I grew up. So I don't know what what is more... Um, I don't know what is more legitimate, really. So 
So how broken is the Ghost and Goblins? We're gonna find out. So far it seems pretty much the same. Same connector on these third party controllers like the family trainer. The downfall is you can only connect one of these. Right. Well, I'm gonna have to get some of those, Matt Stalker. I don't I don't think I have any. I, I think Aaron has one somewhere though. So maybe. Do CRT forever. Bones Justice wants me to do CRT forever. Well, now now that I have this um, set up and I figured out the file size thing, I, I should be able to do it more often. I'm not going to do it all the time, but more uh, I should be able to do it more often. Mike, where'd you get this system? Um, I got it from. Where did I get this one? I don't I don't know where I got this one exactly. Um. Not sure, but yeah, there's a uh, there is the Famicom twin as well. I have the box uh, somewhere, somewhere around. I can show you the box too. I'll, I'll show you the box in a minute. Let me let me just, fucking oh my god! I got the fire. No, fucking no, we're not we're not doing that. I'll reset it. I'll show you the box. box and it is sharp twin Famicom right there and it has Zelda and Mario on there and um, whatever there's the box pretty cool Let me see if I can get through level one. All right, here we go. Um, but I think I got, I wanna say I got it at a game store. Um, I don't know. I I, got, I have a lot of consoles. I don't remember where I bought them all. Spartan132 for subbing with Twitch Prime. If you guys do have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that. There we go. Jeez. No, 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 no! Get off of me, you fuck. <laughs> oh my god. 
really. for the host. Damn you, tortilla ghosts. God, oh, fuck. I forgot about that, how he kind of gets stuck with the ducking or whatever a little bit. Hey, that's a time, right? Or point? Maybe it was points. I don't, know. I don't remember anymore. Do not remember anymore. Okay. Now let's say all the way back to the beginning. Wait a minute. Really? Well, that's a fucking difference. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? It's an all the way back to the beginning on Famicom? So, so maybe the game is no different except for that. That's a big fucking difference though. So this game has no continues? Arcade version continue. You have to hold shoot when you hit start. So I hold down B and hit start to continue it? Is that what you're saying? Hold, hold down right and press B three times. Hold down right, press B three times. And then hit start. Okay. Bones Justice sub for Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, Bones Justice 7. Thank you. Okay, so apparently you can continue then. There's like a code you do with the controller. Interesting. Well, let me try to make it to level two, and then I'll die, and then we'll see what happens. I guess. Actually, armor. Fuck! It also does seem like a little harder, but maybe not. I don't know. I wonder gameplay wise if it's any different. Or if it's just that. Maybe I'm just doing badly right now. Probably just doing badly. Thank you. 
has got to be harder. I think it's, I think it's harder. See, it seems it seems harder. Looks harder than the arcade version. I, okay, thank you, Matt Soccer. I'll have to look later. This, this, it's, I swear to God, it's harder. Oh my God. Cause usually I can beat this fucking level, like, it's not harder, it's just a placebo effect. I mean, maybe. Oh, here, wait, what's the go? Right, A, 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 and then start? Let's see if it starts me in the middle. Oh, it did. Okay, so it, it worked. So it's right A, 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 then start. Okay, well, we got it to work. I, I wanna fucking beat this, though. You know, I'm just having an off day with this game. See what I'm fucking saying? I feel like I usually don't have to be quite this fucking careful. Alright. Alright, there. Did it. Give it to me. Give it to me. I think I was probably just sucking was the problem. That's fine, let's just say. I'm killing myself. They, well, they certainly kept that. You gotta wait for it. I just wanna test the thing just one more time. Uh. Okay, so right A A A start. Right A A A start. And it does work. Okay. So that's the deal with with Ghosts and Goblins Famicom. Okay, so there's there's a code that you can do. All right, so that's that. Pretty pretty interesting. Should check that out. What else do I got here? Um, I do have the um, I do have Castlevania Three Dracula's Curse, but this one's easier from what I remember. No, definitely is, because the American version is a harder one, so that's an easier version of that. Um, some other disk system stuff, but I don't fuck with those anymore, because they're finicky. Um, and then I have a whole box of Famicom games over there. Hang on a second. Oh, I know what we gotta fucking try. Hang on a second. I know what we're gonna try out. Do 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 You know what we could do? We could do the original Super Mario Brothers. The actual, from the actual real cartridge. Um, here we go. All right. Goonies, let's check out Goonies 1 and see if this is something that I might want to do a real stream on, a full stream on. 
Goonies 1. This is not Goonies 2, this is Goonies 1. Isn't it funny how it almost kind of like looks the same a little bit? Remember all the giant mice in Goonies? Now this game, I don't really know. So maybe you get keys to open these doors. I have no idea. I guess that's the Fratellis. I don't. Even, I have no idea what you even do. Did you kind of kick this door or something? It's like. I'm dropping bombs, but I don't know. Is, am I dropping the bombs or are the bombs just appearing? Hang on a second. Okay, I don't think the, oh wait a second. Did I drop that? What? Okay, I don't see a way to drop a bomb. It seems like they're just like appearing out of nowhere. Okay, here's a keyhole for that. Okay, maybe you gotta kill the Fortelli dudes to get like a key or something. What the hell is that? Oh no, now I have a bomb. Oh, wait a second. Maybe only every once in a while you get one. Hold up a second, let me... There. Okay. Oh, oh look, it's behind the door. Okay, I got that. So I think I just wait a while. Maybe you get it by killing animals, by killing these guys. Oh God, oh there. Now I like collected another one? I don't fucking know. Okay, so you hit down and... Hey look, I saved the Goonies. And there's one more. It's weird, so I guess you can, you can collect them but you also get them if you like wait long enough. And then there's this. All right, and another key. Cool, so we got the two keys. And hopefully I can, oh well, you know what? Let's bomb this to fucking shit. <sighs> what? So I guess now I get to wait until it comes back. I don't, I don't get this fucking bomb thing. There, and now it, it, it just like appears like randomly. That's very strange. Anyway, okay, so I got all the keys. I don't really understand this bomb thing. And now I have another one. I, I don't fucking know. Well, what the fucking, oh, there. You, all right, I, I was afraid to touch the door because it had spikes on it, okay. See, and then I didn't, see, I didn't drop that. What? Here, can I pick this up? I don't, I don't understand the bombs. Here, wait, let me get this. You can't pick it up. And they don't, I don't, I have no fucking idea. Does anybody understand how these fucking bombs work? You only hold one bomb. Right. But what are, what are the bombs that are just like appearing though? You have one top left. I know I have one, but what about these ones that are just picking up like, just like appearing like randomly all over the place. Like that, like these. Like, what are you supposed to do with those? Like nothing? Do you just not do anything with them? 
since I guess since you can only pick one up, you just don't do anything with them if that happens. I guess, uh... Oh, fuck. Drop the bomb here. And I got another one somehow, even though there wasn't an enemy there. So I thought the enemies dropped the bombs. The fuck? <laughs> like, I dro okay, I dropped the bomb on that door right there. It exploded, I got like the f slingshot out of it. But at the same time, then I got another bomb, but there was no mouse walking back and forth. So I thought the enemies dropped the fucking bomb. So where did I get that extra bomb right there then? Fucking, there. No, they drop everywhere random ammo drops. Are they, oh, so they're just, so some some of the bombs are just, so some of the bombs drop from, like that is dropped out of the enemy, but, but you're saying so some other times bombs will just randomly just drop in places, I guess? Maybe that's what's confusing me. Like, like that obviously came out of the fucking enemy. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if one just fucking appears. Well, okay, well, that all that shit just appeared. That, okay, that was life. Let me get down here. Oh my god, it's fucking like fucking cr cross. Oh, now I don't have a bomb though. Great. I'm gonna in a second. Now I do. There we go, and that's more life again, okay. Wonder how many, oh, I, yeah, so I have 36 um, of the uh, slingshot. So that's not unlimited. So some of them you just don't pick up. A... All right, I guess that's it for that area. No, but I don't have all the keys and shit, so this is not. Let me see if this door opens. I have one key. It's probably not gonna open, no. I think you must have to have three to open that, that door to get to the next area, so there's another... Fuck. Wait, is this not opening now? Oh, I go down here. There... All right, there must have been another area to, to go around here then. Let's see if there's another door. Yeah, there's this door. So I go in here. Okay. Okay, so I gotta get, I gotta blow that up down there. God. Boom. Okay, that's the second key. Let's see if the last key is over here. Oh, f oh, fuck off. Uh, he shot me? I didn't even see him shoot me. God damn it. All right, well, I still have the slingshot. I kept that. 
What the hell is that thing next to the keys? You see that like almost like snowsuit looking thing? I wonder what that is. Oh, fuck. Now I need the uh, now I need a bomb though. God damn it. All right, you can't jump and get on the ladders either. All right, the Fratelli dude keeps coming back alive. All right, let's see if I can, this better be a key. Come on. Fucking Goonie. You Goonie! And that. Where is this last key? This has gotta be it. All right, come on, come on, come on. Blow up, give me a key. What? Wait a second, can I, you hurt yourself with the bombs? Okay, we're starting this over. Now, now I fucking know what I'm doing. I think I might like this game. Wait, I got a pair of headphones? Where the hell did the headphones come from? What? I think this game might, oh, the, okay, it definitely does. The bomb smoke kills you is what happened, okay. <sighs> All right, bomb smoke will kill you. Lesson learned. Lesson learned, and it stays on screen long enough. I think I was just getting lucky before not getting hit by the bombs. Cause I didn't even realize that. Oh, this is gonna suck. You think I can kick him? Oh, fuck. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It's, like, it's also, like, not easy. <laughs> By the way. Bitch. Okay. That's all the three of the things. Fuck you. This is a Goonie. Goonie, Goonie, Goonie. Yeah. All right. All right, so basically that's like your first like level. I wanna see if I can get through the second level. I actually, I actually think I like this game. Believe it or not. Let me, uh, well, I guess we'll check out this whole area first. I don't know. You do that to get down. It's better. Bitch. Oh, you can do a jump kick. There's that. You get away from there. Killed him. It's life. See, if you memorize where the life is, that's probably also a better idea. I wanna to try to get across there and get that. Is this also life? This is life, isn't it? It's gonna be life. Fuck you, game. Now I wasted all the life already, because I'm an idiot. Ooh, ooh. I wish you could jump on the ladders, like jump in the air and grab the ladder. I don't know if when you have this, if it like, oh man, I need it. I need another bomb. Fuck you. All right, sling, slingshot. Maybe that one. And there's no way, yeah, okay. The only way to do that is to go down and around. Which I'm gonna try to do. Let's see if I can do this. Fuck you! Okay. Oh my god, get out of here! So awful. I, I hate that dude. 
Thank you, Armus FM, for the sub. All right, we're, we got one key. It is my goal in life just to beat fucking level two of this stupid fucking game. Actually, like, I would probably stream this game, I think. Like, the whole game. Maybe. We'll see. Let me we'll try to do this. I wonder how hard this game gets. Shit. I fucked that up. Bitch. Bitch. And this. Fuck you. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, got the second one. Oh my god. Third one. Now we just gotta figure out where that, uh, where that ending was with that, like, spiked door thingy. Do you think I have to go this way? I wonder if... That was like... That down there is to save a Goonie, or isn't it? I wish... I, I guess I should do that. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? You see that? Who the hell was that? Legendary Sugar, thanks for the host. Did, did you guys see that? Who was that? Was that from Goonies? Thank you, Nintendo fan 788 for subbing. Konami should have gotten more movie licenses. I don't know who that was. Um, I I guess that was... Was that like was supposed to be like Corey Feldman? Or am I like looking too deep into this? I'm probably looking way too deep into it. You can't go in these, like, doors, right? No. You can't go into those ones. I definitely think it was Corey Feldman. There's no way it wasn't Corey Feldman. I think it was Mal. You know who it was? It was Jumbo from Rescue the Embassy Mission. That's who it definitely was. Jumbo. That's who it was. You yeah, fucker. See, and that's where I should have had the, that life and kept it. Oh, wait, there's time? 45 seconds. Shit. I didn't fucking know there was fucking time. Okay, I had no idea this game. Oh, there was a timer. Well, now I get to learn that. Shit. Where the fuck is this thing? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Diamonds, demons to diamonds. Whew. Okay. How many levels is this? Anybody know? A sweet home on Famicom? Yeah, I have it. Um. Or is it? I think it's sitting over there. I have, I do, I have it though. Um, Metal Dirt Monkey. Anybody know how many levels this is? All right. Um, I mean, I'm not planning to stream this whole game right now, but this is me testing it out, and I actually, I actually like this game. Look at that, a good Goonies game. Oh, it reveals treasure just like Ducktales. That's right. This game's just like DuckTales, I say. I had the Famicom version of DuckTales, too. We can see if that's any different. I shouldn't do that. It's probably the same. We're getting deeper into the Goonie dungeon here. Yeah, this is, this is, this is good. Why the fuck didn't they release this in the US? Now that, 
is a fucking shame. They should have just put this out. It would have probably been remembered as like a good fucking game here. That is real. That this one's really a shame because I loved the Goonies when I was a kid. Imagine if this was the game that they put out. It would have been so much better. What a fucking disappointment, huh? One thing about this though is like this is gonna be kind of weird. oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck who the fuck is that though? That's not from the movie. I don't think. What the fuck? I mean, I guess there's gonna be like that. Is that supposed to be a pirate? What? The fuck is going on here? All right, I need a mouse. Okay, there. Well, there's the end of that. I could sit here and play this for a long time. I, I'm probably. I'm gonna stop though. It was one eye Willy. Was that one eye Willy? I don't know if that was one eye Willy. Maybe. That doesn't look like one eye Willy. It looks like random pirate or something. There's six stages and three passageways. How are you capturing the stream? Well, I have a camera right here um, that's recording the CRT, and then there's this camera that's recording me. So that's all. That's just a camera point. It's a camera pointed at the TV. Really high tech stuff we got going on here. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop the Goonies game. Um, but I'll probably play more of that sometime. Now I know that I like it. I had no idea. Oh, by the way, I show you the, the cover of it. Um, check this out. It's just a movie cover, but it's, it's cool. You know? Goonies, 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 Goonies. And then there's, there's that too. And then... Cool. Yeah, it's like way fucking better. I wish I wish I grew up with that instead. So, but I did not. I did not have that. Is your twin Famicom RGB modded? No, it's not. Thank you very much, Mabby versus Games, for hosting me. Up to 36 viewers. I appreciate that very much. Um, so we uh, we played a bunch of stuff here. We played. What did we play? We played uh, Batman, a little bit of Adventure Island. Um, I don't think. Let's see. Let's see Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Here you go. This is the original Super Mario Brothers, right there. Let's pop it in. Let's play the original, original Mario. Let's see? Let's see if there's any drawings in here, actually. Do, 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 do. I don't know if there's any draw. Well. And then there's like stuff like that. <laughs> the very s small instruction booklet on that. All right, let's hop in. Super Mario Brothers. I like. I really like that art. All right. Wonder who did that. Where's that original art? Oh, so no Japanese font on that? It just straight up looks like the regular one. Huh. That's not the original box because Goonies one came in a cardboard box. Oh, uh, okay. I guess I I guess the box isn't is a repro box of some sort for Goonies. I didn't know that. That's that's too bad. Thank you for letting me know that. I didn't know that. Good game, though. That happens sometimes. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, okay. So, there's, like... I thought I thought the title screen, at least, was going to be in Japanese, but... It's not, even. Because I think uh, Mario 2 Japan is... Um, 
has has like Japanese font in the beginning. So yeah, I guess it's basically just the same. So, okay, so that's, as far as I know, it's, it's just, I, I thought maybe there'd be some kind of difference. Okay, never mind. I thought we could see a different title screen. Apparently not. So that's that. Uh, what else do I have? I don't know, now we're getting through. I mean, I have a lot of fucking Famicom games. Um, think, think Godzilla's any different? I've Godzilla. Can see if there's any difference between the American Godzilla and the Japanese Godzilla. Let's, let's see. Yeah, you want to see a cool um, look at look at that. That now that's what what you want your Nintendo games to look like, right there. I like that. Simple. <laughs> for some reason, I like that. It's perfect for Godzilla. That seems maybe different. Okay, that's that's different. I love the Godzilla theme. better. And then it goes to, then it's probably just going to go to how the NES game is, right? I, I bet the rest is the same. And the text is different. So it's like, I can't even, it won't even move. What the fuck? I don't I can't read anything. So anyway, so the, the title screen at least looked different. So that was cool. Much better title screen. I like his eyes really like glowing and shit. It was much cooler. Um, what else do I got? Bomberman 2 and it's unopened. Should I open it? I'm gonna open it. I'm, I'm opening it up. They don't want me to open it. Let's see if it's worth anything. <laughs> I want to know if it's worth anything. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. I almost just did that. Okay, so this game is actually worth money. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't just rip that off right there. All right, so I have a sealed Bomberman too, which is apparently worth some money, I think. Brand new in a box, 80, 80 bucks. Well, I see one on eBay that's like 165. But I mean, it also depends on how much somebody's gonna pay for it. But this one's sealed in the plastic though. This one here is, see one's in the box, one's in the box, you look like they're going for $80. But this one's like sealed, sealed. So it's probably more. So I'm not sure. I'm bad with prices of stuff, so I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really know how much it would be worth. 
yours is probably five hundred dollars or more. I don't know about that. I had no idea. I don't know what it's worth. So I'm glad I didn't open it right there though. Um, I almost did. I almost ripped the plastic off without thinking. All right, I have a. Uh, I've seen it. This is the Don Donald Duck, but it's just like the Sno Snoopy sport thing. I'm not gonna do that. Um. I have, uh, I have Gradius 2. could put Gradius 2 in. Um, I have all, also have Arknoid sitting here. Oh my god, it just shit is everywhere. I gotta clean up. There's Arknoid. Um, oh my god, this shit is just shit everywhere. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play Gradius 2. Let me see, let me see what else I have. Hang on a second. see the difference if there's any difference of DuckTales. So here's DuckTales Famicom. Look at the box compared to, comparatively. Isn't that funny? This is, I'm like so like washed out right now. Hang on. There. That's a little better. So that's that. And then Ugh, me money! <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if there's any difference. It's probably not any difference. Did you just pick these up? No, I've had I've had all this shit for a long time. Uh, actually, Aaron Aaron got me this. Ducktales is the same except for the title screen. Oh, okay. Well, let's see the title title screen then. My chat chose the DuckTales theme song yesterday. We did a poll of favorite cartoon theme song and DuckTales was the winner. There's the song. <laughs> now you're getting it. Let's see what else I got. God, there's so much. One day I gotta learn how to play this game, Tower of Dragua. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in. So maybe somebody can. Does anybody know Tower of Dragua? Can somebody teach me how to play it? Because I don't even understand how to fucking play it. Somebody fucking tell me how to play it. Because I tried to play it one time. And I was like... It's a, it's a game that I did not have growing up. Uh, I did not have it. And I tried to play it. And I was like... I have no idea what you even do. Second. So okay, so DuckTales title screen was just like that. Oh wait, wait, wait! I have an instruction manual for it. Oh, hold up, hold up. Look at this. Look at this instruction manual for DuckTales. Whoa. I, I, let's just let's see. If there's anything interesting, really quickly. Just looks like standard art. Is there any like weird anything? It's like, pretty shitty how they like crop them out. <laughs> oh my god. Look at how they crop them out. Look at like magic how they cropped out and shit. They just like it looks like somebody took a fucking photograph of the of a CRT television and like like literally they had like a Polaroid camera and then they like cut it out and like scanned it or something like it's pretty <laughs> like seriously it's like really bad actually like they didn't know how to directly capture it or something like re like really look at this look at this fucking enemy like cut out look at that fucking dude cut out 
Somebody will cut that out with scissors. Right there. I swear. I, I think somebody seriously cut these fucking things out with a pair of scissors. Even the cheese. Even the cheese that you get on the fucking moon. Somebody cut out with scissors, man. The fuck? Uh, well, I don't think our instruction manual will look like that. What in the world? Okay, uh, Tower of Dragula. Which is this. Let's see if this will work. Oh. Alright, so. You guys tell me how somebody, you, I want you guys to tell me because I don't even fucking know how to play this. So let me try it again first and let me see if I can figure it out first. And then, I, and then I'm going to ask you. So so there's a door. Let's, let me try to get to the door. So I guess it's like a maze game and I'm going to try to make it to the door. Now, oh, well, hang on. There's a key. Okay, I'll try to get the key first, I guess, and, and then I'll go to the door. I, I think what I'm remembering is that I couldn't figure out how to attack enemies. I think is what the problem was. Anyway, let me get to the door. Let's see if that's it. Okay, well, I did that. So far, so good, I guess. And then that's it, dead. So that's my problem, is like the weapons don't work. Let me try it again. So regardless if I hit B or A, B or A seems to do the same thing. It's both like, wa watch, watch this. He kind of, like that's the shittiest weapon ever. Well, regardless, I'm getting to the doors without having to attack things, but it's like, can you even kill things? Maybe you're just, maybe you're, maybe you can't kill things. Maybe you're just supposed to like avoid them. But I mean, they give you a sword. Like you can, I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Hold button. Like just hold it down. Oh, oh, you hold it down. Is that what you do? Hang on a second, but it, the sword wasn't all the way out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. My whole goal here is I want to try to fucking kill an enemy. That's all I want to do, is kill one fucking enemy. <sighs> Alright, the sword's out, sword's out. I think I killed that thing. Also, there was some kind of treasure chest up there or something. All right, so is that all it is? I, you have to hold the fucking button down? I guess that was the problem. And you also have to wait until, oh Jesus. Oh, so, so with the wizards, you don't want your sword to be out, you just want your shield to be up. Okay. All right, let me get over there to that key. Like that, see? Okay. All right. Well, I'm starting to get it down. So that that's what I didn't know then. That you have to hold the fuck. That you have to hold the button down to kill things. Let me. Let me. I'm gonna start just at the beginning real quick. I just want to definitely know that I kill enemies. All right. I'm just gonna kill this fucking thing. Here. Here we go. Here we go. 
Come on. Come back here. All right, here we go, here we go. There, okay, I see. I definitely got him, all right. All right, well, now I get it. Because most games, you you know, you would tap the button. It's not tapping, you, you just hold it down. All right, so, cool. I learned how to play, so. That's a very slow-paced game. But uh, maybe we'll try that again someday, now that I know how to do it. Thank you. Um, what else we got here? I always wondered about that. Uh, oh, you guys remember this? Now, I showed this a very long time ago. I streamed it. Some of you guys are going to remember this, but I know we have a lot of new people in here now since since I did this. I did this a few, few years ago. But um, check out, if you're not looking at the screen right now, look at the screen because I'm going to show you something that you're going to like. Actually, you're probably not going to, you're gonna, probably going to be horrified and have nightmares, but that's okay. I want you to look at the screen real quick. Here you go. This is one of the greatest games ever. If you're a fan of Super Mario Brothers, this is Mary Pizza Pop. And that is... That is uh, the original Mario right there. The Mario that we all know is actually based off of that Mario. I know people think that it's based off of Mario Sagali, Miyamoto's landlord, but... Um, that information actually was proven false. Um, Miyamoto actually had a copy of this game. Or, or may, I think it was the art from it or something like that. And he actually based Mario off of this drawing and this character right here. Um, so yeah, this, what I'm holding here is the origin of Mario and the, everything that you ever know, knew about Mario came from this right here. I'm dead fucking serious. Get it? You like, you like, do you guys like references? Dead fucking serious? Ha 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 ha. Wait, wait, the landlord thing is false. I, Mr. Kid, I'm, it's a joke. It's, uh, it's dry sarcasm. I'm, I'm an idiot. It's a joke. So we got, um, this one also has Adventure Island on it. I guess this is a multi-cart. Should we see what's on this? Let's see what's on this. Oh, that one needs to be like cleaned. Okay, forget that one. Uh, oh my God, what's this one? I don't know, can anybody tell from the images what what would this game be? Anyone? Can anyone name the game from the images? Cause I I cause I don't know. Let's see if that's gonna Oh this one's not gonna work either. See some of these I have to clean. Holy Diver. Oh, is that Holy Diver? Actually, you know what? It might be. Maybe. It Actually, you know what? It looks like it is, but I think the cartridge just kind of fucked. Uh... Let's see if this one works. First of all, I'm going to... I bet you I'm going to need to clean the goddamn thing. You like this? See, isn't it nice when I have that fucking EverDrive? This is why I like having the EverDrive, because half of this shit won't fucking work when I use the real real stuff. All right, but this is uh, super wonderful Mario. I don't think I've ever looked at this before. Super wonderful Mario. I have so much fucking shit, I don't even know. None of these are working. Let me try, come on. Give me one sec, I'm gonna try to clean this one better. Uh, one, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, I cleaned it. Let's try it now. Here we go. Okay, so Super Wonderful Mario is just Mario 2. So it's just Mario 2 then. Okay. Except, wait a second. Is the music like super sped up? Doesn't the music seem sped up? Right? Yeah, like a little bit fast? That's fucking weird. See, it's shit like that that makes me wonder, is there anything else different about it? Let's play it just for a second, just to see if, if there's anything. It's probably, it's probably nothing else, but. Eh, it doesn't, doesn't seem like this. Anyway, okay. I was hoping it was something a little more interesting, but okay. So that was that. What else do I got in this bin? What the hell is this? Supercharger. The fuck? Anybody want to take a guess at what this is? What's this? I hear something, I have no clue. You, t you guys tell me. Zombie says, what the fuck? Red Fortress. Contra? Yeah, but what's Supercharger? Super, it's Super C? Red Fortress? Let's just see if it'll work. Well. Jackal! Let's see if anybody did it. let's see if anybody wrote Jackal. I don't think I saw anybody say Jackal. Nobody said Jackal. So it's so it's Jackal. Okay. Red Fortress Supercharger. What a weird fucking weird, huh? This game's so good, though. It was one of the best NES games. I think I... Did I put this on my top 20? If I didn't, I should have. Anyway, so that's Jackal. Kind of cool. Um, uh, did you guys know anything about LSD, by the way? Um, not for Famicom. Cool boy. Let's see what this is. Um, yeah, LSD. LSD uh, so I have LSD here. Here's LSD. I have to check that out sometime too. Um, for PlayStation, play. Can I speak? PlayStation and um, Japan only. So I have the modded uh, Japan only PlayStation. So I'd like to check that out. So maybe we'll do that. Um, not right now, though. I'm doing the Spamacom stuff right now. Uh, this is... I have no idea. You guys can tell me what this one is. This one is... Cool Boy. <laughs> no, let's just say... Devil, it's, this is Devil May Cry. No, this is Contra. This is not Ninja Gaiden. Tiny Toon 1, Ninja Gaiden 1. Hot Blood Wrestle? Hot Blood? What? 
Ooh, Adventure Island 4 for Famicom. Turtles 4. Turtles 4? Is that Turtles 2? Oh, Tournament Fighters. Okay. Turtles 4. Chip Chippendale 1, Chippendale 2, and Chippendale 3? Now, hang on a second. Chippendale 3. Oh. Yeah, Chippendale 3. Hip an L. Stream that before actually that's uh, that's Chippendale Vietnam you guys know Chippendale Vietnam obviously we all know that now Tiny Toon 3 though Tiny Toon 2 Tiny Toon 3 is this gonna be the animation factory thing or whatever that is 2006 presents the Nintendo Wii fucking put tiny tune sprites into it. I was going to lose my mind. By the way, Contra 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, and 8. Well, I'm going to start at 8 and go backwards. Okay, well that's um, what's it called? Contra Force. Let's see, Contra 7. This is also Super Contra 7. This is also Contra Force, okay. Contra 6. No, well, no, wait, that's Contra Force. Fuck. Contra 3. Contra Force. And now Contra 2 is going to be Super C, right? What? Contra 5A? Oh, wait, is this just the levels? Oh, okay, it's just divided into the levels. Holy shit. I, I, oh my god, I thought it was like, I didn't even know what the fuck I was looking at. I thought I lost my fucking mind. What, all right, well, how about Contra 1? Is that just regular Contra? So it's just, yeah, it's just divided into the stages is all. Okay, that's fucking weird. Cage, Double Dragon 1, Final Mission, Tiny Toon 1, Tiny Toon 2, Tiny Toon 3. Hot Blood. Okay, hot blood story. Let's see. Oh, pff, okay. River City Ransom. Spider Man. Snow Bros. Astinax. Astinax! My chat loves Astinax. Tetris. Dead fox. Fuck is dead fox. What if it's just a fox fucking dead on the ground? Oh, it, that's codename Viper, right? Okay. Um, Kickmaster. I think I liked Kickmaster, right? Didn't I beat Kickmaster? I think I beat Kickmaster. 
Excite Bike, Mario. Alright, I mean... 198 and 1. Alright, so it's just a fucking multi-card, you know, with a bunch of random fucking shit. Bugs War. Devil... Devil Dom Doom. Devil Dom Doom! Yeah, we're gonna play some Devil Dom Doom. Devil Dom Doom, motherfucker! <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> Talking about my favorite any Oh, of course, it's got bats! Of course it has fucking bats! Of course Devil Dom Doom has bats. Fuck you, fucking... Get out of here, cool boy. Fucking... What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the hell is this? Mario, Super Mario Bros. World. You wanna see this one? Look at this one. Super Mario Bros. World. Super Mario World Bros. But on NES? But it almost looks like a Genesis cartridge? I don't fucking know. Is this even gonna fit? What? Wait, is this? I don't even think this looks gonna fit. This doesn't even look like a fucking. Oh, wait. It is gonna fit. What? No, it's not. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a Famicom card. I think that might be a Genesis card, actually. Um, thank you, Holler McDollar, for something with Twitch Prime. Yeah. It's actually, I think it's a Mega Drive card. Well, why the fuck do I have it? It's in the wrong place. That's gotta go on my Mega Drive. Ah, shit. All right, well, I gotta find a place for that. What the fuck is this? I didn't even know I had this. Yo, you wanna see something really weird? What in the world? Okay. What in the world is this? Anyone? Let's take guesses on what this is. What the fuck? Anybody want to take a guess? Inner video. It's a mul it's a multi part cart. Let me say. Well, it might not even work, actually. It might be broken. It's fucking filthy, too. Oh my god. This is worse than the fucking tapes in the back of the fucking Cinemassacre video. Okay. This, you guys want to see what it is? A lot of my chat thinks that it's porn. Let's 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 find out what it is. Ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. Dragon Spirit. <laughs> For NES. It's Dragon Spirit. <laughs> Believe it or not. Which is a good game, by the way. Actually a very good game. Um, so, fucking strange, strange. I did not even know I had that. What else do I have? I, look at this, I got a blue one now. Same thing, look, 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 look. Look, look at how fucking, look at how shitty this is. Where do I find this shit? Let's see if this will just work. I have to clean this too. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the blue one is. Ready, and... Maybe this will be porn. Anybody want to take a guess at what this one's going to be? Let's see if anybody can guess what this one is. I'm, I'm going to let you guys guess, and then I'll put it on. We'll say it. All right. R Rob says it's xenophobe. Gecko says it's double dragon. Um, Skeletank says it's king's knight. <laughs> Justin Garbert says it's Donkey Kong. Shadowplay1979 says it's Dragon Spirit 2. Shin says it's Little Nemo. Goose Mayo says it's Metroid. 
Philly boy says it's Donald Duck's cock. Shin is now saying it's Lolo. CFH says it's Rygar. Monger face says it's Pac-Man. Nintendo fan says it's Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right, so let's let's find out. Let's see what it is. Ready? Here we go. And in three, we're gonna find out what it is. Two, one. It's Batman. Which we started the stream with Batman. It's fucking Batman. <laughs> and we're back to Batman. Well, we've come full circle. I like that. <laughs> That's great. What a weird thing. It's like the 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 way it has like the um the camera with the film on the front makes it look like it like it's porn, right? Like it's a dirty fucking porno game or something, but and then you find out it's good old Batman. Good job, Batman. He he saved us from Batman saved us from the porn. Thank you, Batman. No problem, Robin. Remember to be a good citizen. Shit. So I beat this earlier on stream, so I'm probably not gonna go through and play, play through all Batman again, but I could, it's such a fun game. I don't think there's any differences. And apparently, now we know that there are no differences between the US version of Batman and the Japanese version of Batman, but I found a difference in this version, because this version has this. The City Hero, push start. See, this version's different. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. We played a lot of Batman. We played a lot of Famicom. I was happy to show you guys uh, a stream with the CRT television. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I gotta clean up this room from all these Famicom cartridges that are laying all over the place now. Um, it was fun to check out um, the Famicom Twin. I will look into the controllers with the controller port on the side. Guys, I appreciate all the subs tonight, all the follows, and all that good stuff. All right. That's right, Battle Cat. You're gonna go watch Small Wonder? <laughs> A girl unlike other girls. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the subs, and I will see you later. Bye.